Uh, greetings, this is that Rob Human. This is part 5B of my Tabletop Playground mod series. Uh, this is basically a, a quick addendum to the uh, previous video about dice and an opportunity to show you uh, another feature that you can do uh, to, to copy an object to your mod from another mod. Um, and the reason why this dovetails into a previous mod is, uh, or the previous episode is, uh, in regards specifically to dice. So I'm going to go back into our, uh, TTPG tutorial series package, and I'm actually going to copy object from another package. And the way that this works is I've actually subscribed to my, uh, dice package here. And let me see if I can pull that up in, in Chrome real quick. Yeah, I should have had this up and going already. Whatever. So this is the mod that I, I, uh, and and I am shilling for my own mod here. I've got a collection of dice that you can pull from. By all means, do so. And it's got all your your fancy dice types and whatnot, all your polyhedral dice. And it's got a a couple different forms of it. So I'll just go for the chamfered and let's say uh, gem. And this, actually, let's go with marble. Uh, and it's got, you know, a couple different forms of dice. And it's all got the, the faces set up for it already uh, and whatnot. So, like, I don't know, let's let's do a, a D12. The alternate form here is actually a um, rhombic dodecahedron instead of a dodecahedron. So we'll just copy that. And I can save it. And it's actually in the mod here. Uh, there's a couple of things that with that, though. Uh, the mod that you're copying from, the asset that you're copying, needs to kind of be designed to be copied. Um, that usually means you can't have anything that has a script attached to it. Uh, if it has a script, it will uh, copy the script, but it won't copy any scripts that that script depends on. So if it, like, imports another script from that mod, it won't, you know trace up the dependency tree. So your best bet is to actually not copy anything that has a script file on it. Uh, so if, if you're a mod maker and you want to make a utility mod like the dice mod here that I have, um, it's best to advertise that yes, you can copy individual items from your mod into another mod without any issue. Uh, it does copy all the models and textures along with it. So like if I actually go over to our our series here, you'll see it actually copied over the thumbnail, the template, the meshes, and the texture. Um, and it, it's not a problem. Uh, but if it had a script, it would copy that script, but not any imported scripts from that script. So bear that in mind if you're ever doing any kind of like utility mod. Uh, the other thing I would recommend here is um, it doesn't resolve conflicts of like texture names or, or model names. So like, <clears throat> for example, in the dice mod here, um, all the textures and models are actually namespaced. So like there's a directory called that Rob human and then dice. And then uh, it's got the names of the stuff that you'll be importing. Uh, and that's by design. And that's so that, you know, if, if I had this at the, root level of textures and you imported two mods that had the same texture name and they would collide and that's bad. Uh, so whenever you make a um, utility library like that, you want to namespace your textures and models and any other asset that you have. Uh, templates are fine because they're guaranteed to pretty much be unique. Um, likewise, thumbnails won't be a problem, but like textures or sounds or fonts or models you want to namespace a directory that are like to reduce conflict possibilities um so yeah if, if you are in need of dice uh, feel free to to subscribe to this and copy it into your project at which point you can play with the textures to your heart's content um I've laid out the UVs so that they're fairly intuitive. They're all aligned the same way. I don't think I have any dice where they're... Fl there might be a couple dice where, like, the one is upright and the two is flipped just to save space. But, like, it's fairly intuitive to, to edit those. And you can leave the normal 
um, quote unquote blank if you don't want to bother making a normal map for this. Um, but uh, yeah, have fun. Uh, that's a, a good way to get around having to use dice uh, or having to make your own dice is just feel free to pill for mine. Um, the other thing that I'll uh, mention is that I do have a couple other like startup uh, bootstrap pieces, uh, bootstrap mods. Um, where, where's my stuff here? So yeah, like I've got um, standees or whatnot. I, I plan on actually remaking these so they don't look quite as bad as they do here. But there's a couple other bootstrap mods that are designed to be imported by other people, like these these tokens as well. Uh, so you know, feel free to pil pilfer those if that will help you bootstrap your project. Uh, just subscribe to it, and you can copy from project into your mod. So yeah, have fun. Just wanted to mention that and. Uh, We'll continue on with part six in the very near future. Bye.